Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this video, I'm going to show you five unique music video style effects for your next video or project. So leave a like below, and if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing to stay tuned for daily creative videos. So on my timeline, I've got a couple example clips laid out that I've shot here. So the first one is kind of a scale or inset effect that you can play around with in many different interesting ways. What I'm going to do is create a duplication of this layer by just holding Alt and dragging it upward. If you can't figure that shortcut out, you can always right click, copy, paste it, or just basically stack the clip on top of each other in any way. Now that we're working with these two layers in Adobe Premiere Pro, whatever we do on this top layer, the bottom layer will still kind of be underneath and show. So I can decrease the scale from 100 to let's say 75, and we've created this cool inset effect that I've seen in some different music videos for interesting effect. You don't have to do it with just the same video. You can stack two videos inside of each other in this way. And I even created multiple stacks in the beginning example by lowering it even further. Now we've got three stacks. And there's all types of animation and blending you can do between these three layers. For example, you can just make one start after another and you get a cool little animation that happens. You can also pull it back in that same way, or you can even play with the opacity or blending options of any of these to really customize this effect and get different types of effects going on. But I'm gonna leave it at that, like you saw in the beginning. And for the second one, we have a super quick effect, how to do a little bit of a grainy black and white, kind of the weekend stylish video effect. So I'm just going to search for one called black and white. You can just drag that right onto the clip. And the thing that spices it up is by searching for an effect called noise and just adding some noise onto that black and white. By increasing the amount of noise percentage, I'm going to use strictly black and white. So I'll uncheck the color noise. You can create this grainy type of vintage feel, really add that mood to it. And if you want, you can always go into the Lumetri color tab really mess around with your basic correction and creative. I have tutorials all about that. And remember, you can do all of this on adjustment layers as well by going to the project media bin, going to file, new adjustment layer, and dragging that little pink adjustment layer on top. That'll allow you to stack effects over multiple clips, but I'm just gonna keep going one by one here. That's just a little tangent, very useful. Get to know adjustment layers if you want. So third, we have a very simple but stylish effect is the flip horizontal or flip vertical effect. So in the effects panel, I'm going to search for the flip effects and you have the horizontal or vertical. So what I can do is click and drag this onto the clip. It immediately flips horizontal, but just like in the first effect, I'll undo that. I'll actually create a stack duplication here. So one right on top of the other and on the top layer, I'll flip it horizontally, but the bottom layer is still unflipped. That means if I cut the end of this clip a little bit, it can start off normal and then I can match it up to the beat or something where it flips over to the side real quick and then flips back. It's an interesting little stylistic twist. Or you can do many things with this without cutting it. I can put it on a different blending mode like screen, creates a cool abstract mirror effect. I can just keep it on normal but lower the opacity or I can even add a strobe effect in stack with this. So add a strobe light after that. I have tutorials all about the strobe effect and what all these different things do. But you can basically set it to make this layer transparent at every 0.1 and 0.2 second intervals. And then you get this interesting flipping effect that happens really fast. That might look cool with a person in the shot or other things. So many options for you to play around with there. Number four, a very simple perspective shift to give a kind of fake fisheye that I've seen in some videos recently is search for an effect called lens distortion. So this is in the distort video effects folder. It's right here. Click and drag this on. And all you can do is add a little bit of curvature. So I'll bring it down to negative about 20. And you can see it just kind of adds that little fisheye lens distortion on the edge. I'm not even gonna keyframe it. I'm just gonna keep it right at negative 20 and it adds a cool little fisheye feeling for some different type of vibes for some shots. Play around with that. Again, you can always stack all of this stuff with keyframes and play around with different types of vertical or horizontal centering. 
but you just don't want any of that white to be showing in most cases. Finally, for effect number five, here's an interesting glow or lens flare type of effect that I just kind of created by blending a bunch of different things. So I'm going to search for an effect called Find Edges. First, before I apply it, I'm going to stack this layer again, like always. And remember, you could do this on adjustment layers. Like I said earlier, you can set adjustment layers onto blending modes and all that. But I'm going to add the Find Edges effect onto the stacked layer. I'm going to select Invert. And what that'll do is create a little bit of an outline on all the edges. It's a nice little bright outline. Now I'm going to go and find an effect called Gaussian Blur and add that onto the layer as well and add just a tiny bit of blur. Then I can check Repeat Edge Pixels to get rid of that bleeding on the edges. And we can set this to a blending mode of something like Screen or Color Dodge to create an interesting glow on whatever edges we have in our video. But a cool thing is I can increase or decrease that blur to get a completely different effect in each case. And I can set the blur to be just horizontal or just vertical. And when I do it in this way and increase the blurriness a whole lot, what we get is these interesting lens flare type of lines that attach our, itself throughout the image and can create a kind of cool result for some stylistic flare. You can lower the opacity of this overall second layer if it's getting too strong, and it just adds an interesting kind of abstract stylistic touch that could look cool for some shots or in combination with other things. So that's five different unique music video effects and many different variations within them for you to play around with. If you guys enjoyed this video, I also have another video called Five sick music video effects which are nice dope and sick for you to check out i'll leave a link to that and definitely subscribe to the channel to stay tuned for more go follow me on social media at justin od show on instagram twitter facebook if you want to reach out to me stay in touch i definitely appreciate that and once again thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time